Yeah, is some of that hot cider for me? Yes, yeah, it is. A little cup there? Yeah. Listen, Dean, I've been thinking. Uh-oh, it's always a problem. Yeah, very funny. I thought that it was really sad to see John without Charlene on Christmas. Families are supposed to be together on holidays, don't you think? I guess, if they're into it. If they're into it? What are you getting at, Frankie? Would you happen to be missing anybody about now? Oh, uh, if this is a question about my father, the answer is no. Okay. Come on, Dean. What? You know how stubborn he is. Why don't you be the grown-up? Pick up the phone and call him. Oh, Frankie, you, you serious? Yeah, invite Henry to spend New Year's with us. What, are you nuts? Frankie, you out of your mind? You want his father to come here? I thought it would be nice. It'd be a blast, right? We have the room, and they had spent enough holidays apart. And we like it that way, Frank. If you call them up, you'd find that out. Holidays were invented so that families would have an excuse to get together. Oh, I thought it was so they could get together once a year and get it over with. I'm with that guy. <laughs> Look, if you're acting this way because you don't want more of my family... No, 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 that's not it. I just think that Dean should be the one to decide whether or not his father comes here. You can deny it all you want to, Dean, but you love your father very much, and he loves you. Oh, yeah, that's, that's why he uh, spent a lot of time looking for me, right? Yeah, and what have you done? Look, he walked out on me, right? He walked out on me, and when push came to shove, he always looked out for numero uno, and that's it. You had a lot of good years before then. Is that what you call good years? What, scamming, gambling, hotel hopping, having room order pizza for Thanksgiving, or Christmas, everything? I don't know. If he didn't love you so much, why did he take you with him? So he could tell himself and other people could tell him that he's a great guy. Dean. Okay? That, and if he was a great guy, he'd be more like Cass and he'd have settled down, and then maybe I could have had a normal life like any other kid. Yeah, and then you probably wouldn't write such good songs. What could I say? She's an incurable romantic, but I love her. And you know what else? She's usually right. Well, not this time. She's not. Look, you don't know everything you think you know, Dean. Mm. Like what, Frankie? Like he didn't dump you. Child welfare took you away from him. He fought like hell to keep you. Well, tooth and nail, tooth and nail, all the way to the oh, next casino. Oh, you can't try to understand him at all, right? I do. I understand him. Gee, I understand him. He, he was, he was, Henry was a, was a good man. He was, he was the best. No argument, okay? He was a very good con artist. Oh, well, it wasn't easy for him either, Okay, you know. all right. Time out. That's enough, both of you. Here's the final decision. It's Dean's call. Henry is Dean's father. Cat? Now, can I... I have a little peace and quiet around here? I have to face the DA from hell first thing in the morning oh. in case anybody has forgotten. I'm sorry. You still have a lot of work left to do? Yeah. The jury selection should be finished by noon. I may have to make my opening statement tomorrow. And then what? Then I tell the jury why Marley is innocent. What, what does the DA do? She tells the jury why they should send Marley to prison. <laughs>